Now let's talk about some of the basic log properties we alluded to in the last video. The book lists these out as follows. That log base A of A is equal to 1. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the conversion into exponentials for you. So hopefully these won't look too foreign to you. Saying that log base A of A is 1 is the same thing as saying that A to the first is A. The next property they have is that, and we already saw this in the last video, that log base A of 1 is 0. And this is the same thing as saying that anything to the 0 power is just 1. And then we have the so-called inverse properties. And these will look really, really dumb when I write them in the exponential form. Because in the exponential form, these are just trivially true. This says a to the x is a to the x. Well, of course, anything is equal to itself. But now we've got kind of a new way of writing this. And this turns out to be a rather profitable way of thinking about things and working. And the other thing that is rather trivial, that a to the log base a of x is equal to x. Now this is already in exponential form. It's a to some weird power, granted it's really weird, but it's just a power, equals x. So if I convert this to its logarithmic form, then this is going to be really dumb. It's going to be log base a of x equals log base a of x. So if we convert this exponential into a log, we get a really dumb statement. If we convert this log into an exponential, we get a really dumb statement. But that doesn't defeat the power and the utility of logarithms. It's just restating an obvious thing in a rather odd format, if you will. Now, logs are common enough and utilized enough that we as human beings get rather lazy with logs. And the notation that ends up being rather common is that if you write LOG with no base at all. This is assumed to be log base 10. You see these a lot in the sciences. You know, in physics and chemistry and biology and so forth and so on. LN you'll see a lot in math classes. This is log base E. And if you remember, E was that weird number that we talked about in 3.1. So this occurs mostly in math classes. Um, there's one the book doesn't mention, but I'm relatively familiar with it from my experience in computer science. Since computers generally deal with on and off, zeros, ones, you know, they deal in bits, things of base two. Log base two ends up being important in computer science and in later computer science classes not so much the you know here's how you program classes but in the more theory oriented computer science classes you'll see log base 2 pop up every now and again and that's just denoted as LG so for us we're not gonna really need the LG that's just an aside but what you will need to know is that LOG without a number you know, beside it, as a subscript that is, is log base 10, and ln is natural logarithm, log base e. 
let's take a look at how we would use these properties in some of the homework exercises. So I'm looking at exercise 26 on page 250 where we're asked to evaluate log base 9 of 81 without using a calculator. The idea here is to use the log properties to figure this out. And what we want to do is we want to utilize those rather silly log properties to get our answer. So if I rewrite 81 as 9 to some power, 81 is 9 squared, then what I get to do I'm looking at log base 9 of 9 squared. This property tells me that the right hand side has to be equals 2, equals the power of 9. Right? This is saying log base a of a to the x, that what should follow this is equals the exponent. So this should be equal to and if I look at 28, we're going to do something again very, very similar. Log base 3 of 1 -third. I want to try to write 1 -third as 3 to a power. Well, in order to do that, I'm going to have to pull this 3 from the denominator, I'm going to have to pull it up to the numerator, which means I have to change the sign of its exponent. And its exponent is just 1. So 3 to the minus 1 is 1 third. And when it's written like this, I can now say, hey, log base 3 and 3 to whatever they're inverses. They cancel out, like addition and subtraction. They have the effect of nullifying each other and just leaving me with what, what, whatever was in the exponent. In this case, a minus 1. So, this is how we can use the log properties in the, in the homework exercises.